Here's a good GRE quant question. If Raul flips a coin three times in a row, what is the probability that he will receive exactly two heads? Well, let's think of all the different ways that this could happen. He could flip a heads, a heads, and a tails. He could flip a heads, a tails, and a heads. Or he could flip a tails, and a heads, and a heads. And that's it. Just three different ways that this could happen. So if we calculate the probability of each one of these and then add them together, we should figure out the overall probability, right? Well, let's go to the first one. What's the probability of, of flipping heads on this first go? Well, it's one half, right? And then I'm going to flip the coin again, and the probability of getting heads is again one half. And then I'm going to flip a tails, and the probability of that is one half. Now, the probability of each of these events happening together is uh, this times this times this. So one half times one half times one half, or one eighth. Well, we could do this for these two, but it's going to be the exact same thing, right? This is going to be a probability of one eighth, and this is going to be a probability of one eighth. So if we add these three together, we find that the probability of getting exactly two heads is three eighths. For more GRE tips and tricks, or to sign up for my live online course, follow the link on my profile.